Hey y'all, Brad Schmidt here from IBM Engineering, and today I'm going to tell y'all about widgets from Doris Next. Right now, I'm on one of the dashboards for the projects, and each one of these boxes here is a widget. There are two ways to add widgets to the dashboard. The first way is we can come up to one of the dashboard tabs and click on the little twisty and click add widget there. Or we can go over to the right hand side of the screen and click on add widget. This will pop up a window where we can find what widgets that we want to add. There's several ways to navigate around within the screen. First off, we can use the search field in the top right hand corner to search for a specific widget. We can also use the drop down menu here to change which solution we want to find a widget for. We can also use categories over on the left hand corner. Take note that when you switch what solution set that you're looking for a widget for, the categories will change. We can also use the previous and next buttons on the bottom of the screen here. To add a widget, simply mouse over the add widget button for the widget that you want to add. And I'm just going to add a few of these. To close out of this window, click on the X. Now we can see that there's a whole bunch of widgets that have been added, but they haven't been set up yet, which I'll explain that in just a second here. To be able to move widgets around, all you need to do is mouse over the top bar, click, and drag it. This will allow you to rearrange widgets however you want to. If you want to set up a widget, you can simply click on settings, but if it does not give you that option, click down on the twisty and click settings there. You can also change the appearance, you can copy widgets, you can duplicate them, you can do a whole bunch of different stuff. Another nifty feature is blowing up widgets to full size. And to do that, simply mouse over it and hit the button to the left of the X, that is maximize. Now we can see a lot of the information in the widget in a lot more detail without having to mouse over everything for a rich hover. To minimize the widget, all you need to do is mouse back over the button in the top right hand corner of the screen that says restore. If you want to delete a widget, all you need to do is mouse over it and hit on the red X that appears. And when a little window pops up, click on OK. Thank you all for watching. And if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me on LinkedIn. You can find me at Brett Charmet.